We received seven memos totaling 15 pages that former FBI Director James Comey wrote in real time following interactions, both in-person meetings and telephone conversations with President Donald Trump. So the memos reflect conversations that James Comey felt unnerved him or troubled him or reflected a blurring of the boundary between politics and law enforcement. And so what we see from the memos time and again are our requests from the president that Director Comey thought were unusual. At one dinner in January 2017, for instance, there's a request, according to Director Comey, that Comey pledges loyalty to Trump. And there's a suggestion from Comey that he says that Trump basically wanted him to pledge his loyalty in order to keep his job. And then the following month, in a private White House Oval Office conversation, there's a separate encounter, according to Comey, in which Trump encourages him to drop an investigation into his White House National Security Advisor, Michael Flynn. But there's one other thing that's really interesting and we had not heard before, that apparently during a conversation, President Trump told Jim Comey about a conversation that he had with Vladimir Putin, in which Putin apparently said that Russia had the best, quote unquote, hookers anywhere in the world. So we can see that the memos are clearly central to the obstruction investigation of Special Counsel Robert Mueller's investigation. So we can see that the memos would be useful as Mueller is trying to determine whether the president took steps to obstruct the investigation. And in particular, that February 2017 encounter at the White House over Michael Flynn is going to be really critical because here you have a president basically suggesting and asking the FBI director to let an investigation into his national security advisor go because he says he's a good guy. That was something that Director Comey thought was really striking and troubling. The White House and President Trump have denied that the conversation took place that way, but that's a really critical detail if, can, if it could be corroborated and established as true. But the president tweeted, James Comey memos are just out. They show no collusion and no obstruction. It's hard to tell from the memos um, why the White House would believe that they don't uh, establish collusion. I think they don't reach any sort of conclusion one way or the other about whether collusion with the Russians took place or whether obstruction took place. They're not legal documents. They don't make a legal determination. Um, I guess one thing that you could see from the memos that might be beneficial to the White House is that Director Comey does say that he told Trump on multiple occasions, you're not under investigation, Mr. President. We're not investigating you. The, I would say the memos are very significant for pulling back the curtain on a, on a difficult kind of troubled relationship that Donald Trump and Jim Comey had for months before his firing. One of the big mysteries, one of the big issues that is being pursued is why exactly was Jim Comey fired? So I think the public, the country, the world is really interested in as many details as we can get about what went on in those interactions that led the president to dismiss Jim Comey as his FBI director.